Hey there Scorpio! Welcome back to my channel. If you enjoy my readings, please be sure to like and subscribe as well as give me a comment and let me know if this reading resonates with you. Alright, so this week we're going to use the Supernatural Tarot deck again. And we're going to pull up a couple cards here. We've also got the Lover's Tarot deck, which we're going to do after this. And we may pull a Narcissist Tarot card or a Grim card, depending on how the reading goes. So, stay tuned for that. And I promise I'll put the zeros and the ones and all that down there in the bottom so that you can, you know, just skip forward to wherever. Alright, so for the question, whatever your question is, go ahead and pause the video, think about it. We're going to pull several different cards for the answer. Um, the first card for the answer to your question is... The Two of Pentacles Reversed. Okay. And four factors affecting your situation. We've got the Page of Bones. Which is... I think this is Sam and Dean's little buddy who is... Um, one of the fellow hunter, huntresses. A huntress. And then for your past we've got the seven of bones reversed all right and for your immediate uh, I'm sorry factors affecting the situation we got the king of bones this is Metatron and he's most definitely cooking up some kind of mess so I hope you don't have any friends that are working against you here, but it kind of looks like it. And for your final outcome, we have Rowena, the High Priestess, reversed. Alright y'all, the weather is getting a little gnarly outside, so if you hear this bushes beating up against the house, don't freak out. Alright, so for the love cards, we're going to go ahead and pull a couple love cards while we're at it. Scorpio love cards. So next to the two of pentacles, we have express interest in your lover's interests, especially if you want them to do that for you. I feel like that's very important in a long-term relationship is to share similar interests with your lover. Even if you don't really care that much, it's important to try to genuinely try not fake try really try you know to to have these same interests all right criticize it says use soft words and tones all right this is for four horsemen of the apocalypse criticism um the four horsemen of the apocalypse starts with criticism and it turns into a definite um, apocalyptic situation for your love life. Criticism is the first thing, then it leads to contempt, defensiveness, and stonewalling. Alright? So it says, what can we do about it, you know? What can we do? We can use soft words and watch our tone with our loved one. All of our loved ones, not just our lover, but also our children and our kids and our neighbors and Whoever you want to respect you, of course, you need to respect them back. Alright, and then for your past, we've got the Seven of Bones reversed. And that is Wands, which has to do with Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. 
Love in bloom. So you might have had new love blooming up in the recent past, or possibly if you've already been in a relationship, then it might be some kind of, um, you know, reigniting of an old love, or even new, like brand new love. It's got a picture of a bouquet on the front. All right, and then the King of Bones, um, we've got Anchor Love, Long-Term Love, and Success. Lover's card is for the long haul. So this is in factors affecting your situation. So if your current situation isn't really working out, the factors that are affecting your situation, you definitely have a long-term lover just hanging out as a... Uh, factors affecting your current question. All right. The high priestess is reversed and the card that goes with the high priestess reversed is your love card is why is this such a bad trigger? Track the origin of the trigger. Okay. So maybe you've got an evil witch who's triggering you. And it's reversed, so we'll have fun reading that one here in a minute. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look. For your first card, um, which is the answer to your question. Whatever your question is, the answer is the Two of Pentacles. And it is reversed, so... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. Um, let's see. Two of Pentacles reversed says it indicates an imbalance between your home and your professional lives. Have you been focused on the majority of your attention in one aspect of your life um, to the detriment of the other? Reflect on how you're spending your time. And make sure that you're devoting enough time and attention to the in and energy to the things that you're true that are truly important to you. All right, and um, I think it's funny that the card that goes with this is express interest in your lover's interests. Okay, so um, for example, well, once upon a time when I had been really really irritated at my husband playing video games all the time um, he was playing Battlefield 3 and I was like god that is the most annoying game I have ever heard I was ready to throw the computer out the window but um I had actually threatened to throw the computer out the window <laughs> once before when we first got together and it didn't really um, you know, prove anything except for that I was being a super narcissist, okay? So, if your honey has a hobby, you know, of course I encourage people to get hobbies that make money and not take money, but, you know, uh, whatever. <laughs> so I pick up the, the game and I start playing it and I become totally addicted to Battlefield 3. Um, something about all that guns going off it sounds like you're at war just kind of made me like want to rip my hair out <laughs> so, so uh you know if you can't beat them join them right okay <laughs> that's not always the answer but i highly recommend that if you're past your point of no return either find yourself a hobby if you literally just can't do it and and take that time to 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 do your hobby all right y'all um, my phone's dying. So, give me just a moment. Um, 